Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Artistic Jungle. As promised, I am going to show you a holiday look that I wore last year. I enjoyed it so much, I am doing it again this year. And so I'm gonna show you, first of all, my famous brown smoky eye. I get compliments all the time about it. People always ask me questions about it. They're always intrigued, they love it. I get compliments. They absolutely love it. My gift to you is to show you how I do it. And usually that's my everyday look with the wing liner and everything, like go all out with a smoky brown eye, which is my favorite. And then, you know, with a mask on, so it just looks really fly. I love it. For this holiday season, you know, if you want to look a little smoldry, bronzy, then you can just follow along to this tutorial and I'll show you how to achieve it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three different levels of it, of how you can up the game in this lovely tutorial. And there's three ways you can wear it. Before we continue, just smash that subscribe button and I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial. Without further ado, let's get started. So I've already prepped my face. I've already have a primer, I have my foundation, and I have my concealer on. I don't like to do my eyebrows before anything. I like to do them last. We're gonna start, and I'm gonna show you what I do to achieve this beautiful, famous brown smoky eye that I wear. Now, believe it or not, um, <laughs> I have this Stila palette I've gotten for gratis when I worked at Sephora back in the day, and I just love it so much. Like, you can still see the little Sephora sticker there, because um, you get a, you know, they put a sticker on your gratis, so, you know, just to show that you didn't steal it and all that kind of stuff, right? So I've had it for years. I absolutely love it. It comes with these three different colors on the inside, and this was an illuminator. This is a lighter color, like this beautiful dark champagne color. And this right here is a dark brown. So as you can see, I'm obsessed with this palette. I have many palettes as whoever's been following me along and who has seen my makeup collection. It's quite big. I just love this one because it's just so quick and, and easy for me to do every single day because I do it literally with my eyes closed. Sometimes I'm, I'm like asleep to go to work to get it done. I use this dark brown as a base. It's just a flat brown. So you can use any flat brown color it doesn't have to necessarily be this right any brown like that will do first and foremost we're gonna put a little bit of the morphe eye primer i love this stuff it is so good it is translucent it doesn't get cakey at all and even though it has like a skin tone it's actually i love it i absolutely adore it and i just literally need that much and what i do is I just put it all around my lid and around my eye and that's it so you just need this uh, small shadow brush here. It's kind of fluffy. You don't want it too hard because then it's going to pick up a lot of color. So you just want to go ahead and just dab a little bit of that and go ahead and apply. Just want to smoke that out. I kind of like to play around with my fingers there, make sure it's like Okay, fabulous. So we'll put that aside for a second. And then I have this beautiful color by NYX, Discontinued. It was one of their prismatic colors, prismatic eyeshadows. And it's this beautiful bronzy brown. It's absolutely stunning. And it's called Bedroom Eyes. Ooh. So what I like to do is I like to grab some of this and go on top of the flat brown. So it really brings out that bronzy color. Right? You see that? It's like this beautiful glistening bronze color. It's just so beautiful and it looks so good in photos. I really pack this on top because I want it to glisten. Yeah, nice and dramatic. That's what I want. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab this corner crease brush here. Very tiny, but it's also soft at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that flat brown again, and then I'm gonna go underneath and just start that process and pretty much connect the dot in the corner. You can make this as thin or thick as you want. I like to connect it in the corner there. I like to make it a little thicker. 
because just in case it rubs off throughout the day, like it'll still be visible just, you know, as because I don't touch up my makeup throughout the day. Right? Oh, I absolutely adore it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a wing liner and I'll be right back. So my wing liner is on. If you want to know how I do my wing liner, I'll just put the link down below. I did this like beautiful vintage pinup look. I totally forgot to mention that on the bottom, I actually do add the bronzed brown to add more of like a bronzy effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And again, any metallic brown like this will do. It doesn't have to be this one in particular, even though this is discontinued. I bought 10 of them because they were like the last chance on the NYX website. I'm devastated. Okay, so that is amplified. It's all bronzy, ready to go. My next step is to line my waterline. This is the Scandalous Rimmel Kajal Coal Pencil, and it's waterproof as well. You want a waterproof because then it won't rub off and you don't have to worry about it throughout the day. It's this beautiful bronze brown you literally can see the color. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a bronze color brown. It could be any bronze pencil, any bronze eye pencil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in my waterline. What I like to do is I like to drag it just underneath the waterline a little bit. So it brings out that bronze glistening effect. And at this point, what I like to do is just go in, this stuff is, oh my God, it's such a lifesaver, especially in the winter season. My lips were so chapped, like I don't, I've used this wrong chapstick or lip balm and it destroyed my lips. And so I went back to the Bear With Me Lip Conditioner by NYX Cosmetics and it is sativa based with no THC, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's okay. It means you can travel with it. They won't take it from you. So at this point, I just like to put a little bit of that on to condition my lips. So then I don't put it right before my lipstick because then it'll be glossy and that's not the look that I'm going for right now. So I'm just gonna grab some mascara and it's the On The Rise by NYX Cosmetics. I absolutely love this mascara. It is so good because, you know, the brush is, the teeth are so small and it literally grabs every eyelash. It really combs through every eyelash and it's buildable so it doesn't like clump, which is really nice. A little bit on the bottom. A lot of people put like this. I like to go like this because I like my mascara a little a little chunky looking under my eyes so that I don't have to go over it a million times. I just want to go over it just a touch and that's it. And in the end, if I feel like it needs a little bit more then so be it, but okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and contour and everything and going to do eyebrows, put some lipstick on, and then I'll take you to the next level. How to make this more glamorous for your holiday season. This can also be used for New Year's Eve. I've used this look for New Year's Eve last year and I absolutely loved it because it's so glam. It's so glistening. It's beautiful. There's gold involved and it's just so lovely. Some routines have not changed. For those who are my fans and who have been here for a moment, I'm still using the NYX Suede Lipstick as my contour stick because it's a nice cool tone. Everything I find out there has so much orange in it. I just, this is just the best one that I can find that I like. Then I'm going to grab Nude Sticks. This is the Nude 2. I'm going to use it as my highlighter. Now, because I'm wearing my wear hair up, what you want to do is you want to push upwards because if you start going like this, it's going to bring down those hairs. You're going to have to go back and fix it. Now I'm going to grab the Makeup Forever Super Matte Translucent Powder. As a primer, I already use the Fenty Pro Filter True Matte Primer. And then I'm going to go ahead only in the T-zone with the Translucent Makeup Forever Powder. Now I'm gonna grab the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Warm Caramel Powder Foundation. I'm gonna use that for my contour. This brush is the best. As you all know, this is the number six by NYX. I love this brush for contouring. 
So to even out that contour now and the highlight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the HD Finishing Powder by NYX Cosmetics and the banana. This is only meant to just bring forward those areas. I'm only using this because I'm on video and I'm also gonna be taking photos tonight and videos probably. This is good for film and camera because it doesn't make you look washed out. It actually blends everything together so you can see everything much better. So now I'm gonna be using a MAC lipstick. This is one of my favorite tricks. I'm actually using the color gel and this color, I like to use it as a base for my illuminator so it just makes it pop more. And I just like to use it as a base. And what I like to do is I like to wipe it as I go along so it doesn't, so it gives me the same effect every time and it doesn't get mixed up with my foundation. So you really get to see it shine, you see? And this one I just blend in with my fingers. Everyone's got their own little tricks, right? So this is mine. And you don't wanna blend it out too much again wipe your finger too I always have makeup wipes on the go um, because you just want to make sure that there's no sharp lines and you want to make sure that everything is like blended that looks good to me this by the way by NYX cosmetics <laughs> it's my favorite illuminator brush it's absolutely beautiful it just applies it so softly and it just goes on like so smooth you know those fan brushes like i hate them for illuminators they're absolutely disgusting i can't stand them they just apply so awfully i'm using as an illuminator the golden hour by sephora collection it's absolutely beautiful look at that color look at that color i'm just gonna grab a little bit and i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on look at that eh? isn't that stunning oh my god and it goes on so soft and it's gonna look great in photos. Like it's gonna look fantastic. I used to love this one by uh, Born to Glow by NYX Cosmetics. And it was called Chosen One, which you've seen me use in numerous posts on Instagram, numerous videos, and they discontinued it. All right, look at that. Isn't that just so soft and gorgeous and lovely? Oh my God, it's fabulous. Now, because I'm gonna be wearing a bright orange lipstick, I'm gonna be mixing Coralista by Benefit Cosmetics. It's an illuminator blush. It comes with this Kabuki brush right here, so cute. This is the color. It's like this beautiful pearly coral. It's just so stunning. And then I'm gonna be using the Excite by Illamasqua. Look at that beautiful bright color just so lovely so then what i'm going to do now you want your blush brush to be soft you don't want it to be hard because then you're going to look like a little doll and it's going to unless you're going for that that's no judgment here no judgment zone you do you boo um so you want your brush to be soft your blush brush to be soft so then it doesn't pick up too much color and it just goes on so nice and soft on top of the illuminator here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab, I love to use this Kabuki brush for the Coralista. So I like to just blend that in a little bit and just kind of glide it back and forth just to turn that golden hour into a little bit of like a peach undertone, but not too much. All right, and what I like to do is I just like to dab that Excite like so gently and build it up. But I just want like a little bit of color there. See how it's already changing a little bit? Yeah, that's good. That's good enough for me. So in this situation here, my illuminator and my blush has come a little too far. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my highlighter brush again put a little bit of that in the HD and just push it away. So then it just evens out. Remember the mineral sticks from NYX? I still have like a bunch of them. They were discontinued, they were amazing. But I squished one right in here into like a blotting powder pack and grabbed my foundation brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make my cheeks a little chiseled. See that? just a touch really I'm not grabbing a lot all right and you want to push it in the middle of the face not down just push it in the middle like up this way right so then it gives you like that youthful look because if you press down it makes you look saggy 
and older. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna grab that Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Powder again, and I'm gonna grab that contour brush that I use, and I'm just gonna go with just a tip of one side, and kinda go and like soften that out and push it upwards. Just soften that out so it doesn't look so sharp. You see how that softened compared to that, right? Just gonna soften that up and push it upward. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some eyebrows on, put some lashes on, and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and also added a lipstick. It's a bright orange, but I feel like it doesn't catch it well on camera for some reason. So this one is Crash, and it's Ultra Matte by Urban Decay. It's this lovely orange color. I absolutely love it. I absolutely adore it. And I just went with the uh, bright orange lip pencil by NYX Cosmetics. It's literally a bright orange. And it could be, again, any bright orange. So I put lashes on and I've also put brows on. What I like to do at this point is, this is my favorite. It's the Intense Liquid Liner by L'Oreal and it's the blackest black. A little bit goes a long way it lasts me forever every time I buy one it lasts me for months so what I like to do even though I did the gel eyeliner before by Stila it was a smudge pot and so I did that and then what I do is I put the lashes on and then once I'm done everything give it a good sharp clean with the liquid liner just to put, bring everything together Okay, so now that is all done, I'm just gonna go and set my makeup with the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that. All right, let that sink in. So the trick for this level of kicking it up a notch, for the brave ones, I like to say, is I use Spiricum by Ben Nye, and I just always get the small ones because a little bit goes a long way. So I just like to keep this upside down like this. These are my favorite gold flakes. They're the extra large gold flakes by Makeup Forever. They're just so gorgeous. I've bought this years ago and they just last me. What I like to do is I just like to grab just some tweezers and just grab one like on my hand like this, grab it with my little tweezer here. And then as this is upside down, I'm just gonna gently put that in the corner. See that? I'm probably gonna put three in each corner you could do one or you could do three. I like to do three. Okay, great. So if you want to just glamorize it a little bit, this is what you can do. A little touch, a little bit goes a long way. And then we're going to kick it up a level and that is for the daredevils. Okay, so this is my favorite level. So I do have my garbage can here. The trick is to have a glitter primer and mine is NYX. Like this is just my absolute favorite. It just works so well. And uh, I'm gonna actually put the same gold flakes. I'm gonna put it all over my forehead, make it into like a little V shape thing. And I'm just gonna grab some with my finger and I'm just gonna like, just kinda, you know, Put that a little bit there, a little bit there. I'm gonna grab just a little fluffy brush like this. I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray because that's the trick to grab the glitter so it just sticks to the brush and it doesn't go everywhere. Um, so I'm getting my garbage can. I have it right over me here and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply. And if you find that it's not sticking, a little bit of setting spray, you're gonna need it anyway just to set the, the glitter and it won't move. It's good to just um, spray it with a little bit of setting spray because it also reactivates the glitter glue so you don't have to keep packing it on. Because if you pack on too much, then it's gonna get, um, it's gonna get cakey and weird. Okay, so those are the three looks that you can do your bronzy, smoky brown eye. And this is just absolutely stunning. Like it just looks so beautiful in photos and under dim lighting. Like it's just so lovely. 
So thank you so much for watching my tutorial of my three different looks that you can use this lovely holiday season. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop and I love you all so, so much. Happy holidays. Bye.